Well, just to introduce the, the issue, uh, we have been listening exciting data. The scenario of heart failure is a little bit different. We have been uh, uh, looking to a, one, uh, an exceptional development that, uh, uh, that started with ACE inhibition. And over 25 years, a quarter of a century, we have seen tremendous, terrific impacts on the, on the life of our patients and the expectative of life of our patients by means of uh, neurohormonal blo blockade. Uh, in the last years, this, in the last periods, this has not been happened. Uh, maybe you think about ERNI, and uh, sucubutril valsartan is an, a very effective, uh, with exceptional impact uh, compound, but after all is a combination of uh, 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 this kind of substance and this kind of substance. So not really new. This way of approaching heart failure seems to be at its end. And still we have at least two unmet needs. No treatment for acute heart failure, no treatment for heart failure with the preserved left ventricular function, and this is there. We have been also seeing in the last few years several high number of patient trials in this field that were negative. And uh, I did some calculation. I think that uh, uh, this series of, uh, of compound costed about $15 billion, so is, uh, is not peanuts. Luckily enough, there is movement in the field. This is, uh, in 2015, more or less, the number of uh, compounds in development in development in, different, in the different fields. And as you can see, heart failure is quite a lively field for research. And this means, and uh, in development means that have the, these compounds have entered the, uh, the, the building of the dossier for registration. So at least five two uh, point, um, phase two trials registered at uh, ct.gov. And these molecules are quite, a lot. This is just the list of the, uh, of the compounds that are registered in development. And I will be able only to make a few examples to you. Uh, and uh, uh, what I will be also doing is also showing you that still there are several fields, uh, lines of research that are not univocals and, bit, and research is trying to find a new way of approaching treatment of heart failure. This molecule, I'm always in difficulties to pronounce, omecantivimibecardil, is in an it is in an advantage stage. It seems that interacts with myosin, making more efficient, I, I, I am naive in, uh, in explaining, but this is the concept, making more defic efficiently the interaction of myosin with, uh, with acting and, with the, uh, of, uh, of, and uh, the work of the whole sarcomia, uh, resulting in a more efficient and more uh, uh, in, and in increased strength volume with no increase in oxygen consumption. Some difficult to, to understand, but it's, uh, this seems to be the case. And also mechanistic research in, is in that line, as you can see. No time to go into depth, but uh, just to show you that uh, these are, are quite recent. We are in phase two, in phase two B uh, uh, phase. Let's go on. Same field uh, of research, improvement of mechanics of contraction. Gene therapy is around since a lot of time. Uh, the handling of calcium into the uh, uh, myocyte is a key moment of, uh, of uh, the contraction and of efficiency of contraction. The reuptake of calcium by the sarcoplasmic reticulum is a key moment. It is, it is well known that uh, this complex, uh, CERCA2, is decreasing advanced heart failure and in the failing uh, myocell. And the idea is to, and by en uh, genetic engineering, to overexpress 
CERCA2 gene in these myocytes. Experimental research, this is uh, cases adjudicated of cardiovascular events, and in particular heart failure, in placebo and in increases doses of the vector bringing uh, the, uh, the gene into the cell. Uh, again, uh, this, uh, 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 we are in phase 2b, uh, confirm with phase 2b confirmatory trials, and this slide is quite recent. It seems to be there, still to be validated. So it, this is really a good hope, but still an hope. As it is st are still an hope, the two approaches I'm going to show you. One is to improve the ATP uh, production of the cell, and, this, uh, and the mitochondria are indeed central and key in, this in, this, in the process of uh, energy production of the cell. Uh, it is well known, seen, seen, actually since, well, since several years, that the cell structure, normal and failing, is different, and the changes uh, 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 of, uh, of mitochondria do precede the changes in contractile function. Uh, to make a story, a long story short, this molecule that uh, interacts with cardiolipin of the uh, uh, mitochondrial wall is the, is the internal membrane and seems, seems to make more efficient the process of energy production. It, it, will it be true? Will it be uh, a therapeutic option? Don't know. Again, phase two, advanced phase two. This has been uh, recently presented and is a heart failure endpoint in a population of patients with coronary artery disease. As you can see, numbers are very low, but uh, uh, this will precede more large studies. Let's go on. I think it is about uh, 20 years or so that we are listening about the possibility of regenerative medicine and of staminal cells. I know that you, like me, have been listening since 15 years of a possibility of using stem cells to improve uh, cardiac function. It is 10 years that we uh, read mechanistic papers showing uh, improvement of cardiac function on functional parameters, still there is no clear application of this approach. This is a very recent uh, 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 study presented in Heart Failure Association Congress this year. We have also some parameter derived in vivo. If this will be reality, we are still waiting for. Sorry, uh, there will be, I, I will have no overlap with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, Dr. Drexel that, pre that uh, uh, was the previous speaker, just to say that when diabetologists started thinking the opposite way they have been thinking for a couple of centuries, they did something good at least for cardiology. So glyco glycosuria became something useful for the therapeutic point of view. You have uh, seen the results from this study. This is just the, uh, the slides for heart failure, which is the weakness from the point of view of heart failure research of this data. These are really exciting. Uh, if confirmed, they will change the approach to patients with, did, with the, more, the comorbid disease. So all the patients with left ventricular dysfunction and uh, glucose intolerance should receive this treatment. This is a number of patients that is impressive. Well, the information behind this data that are indeed very exciting and mortality is not questionable, but these events, heart failure, were not adjudicated. Were uh, diagnosis, the most of times from the peripheral centers. And to accept a new treatment, the quality of the data has to be really above any, proof, any possible doubt. So this has to be repeated in a trial, putting cardiovascular outcomes as primary endpoint and events adjudicated by the uh, Data Safety and Monetary Board. Uh, good indications are there. These are real-life study, uh, real-life real data. 
confirming this, this possible effect, but it is true that two, at least two major trials, one with uh, dalaglifoxin and uh, a, another with empaglifoxin, are ongoing, and probably the enrollment will finish not far away uh, 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 from now. But until then, uh, it will not be possible to be conclusive. Uh, a couple of new information. Maybe uh, those of you who have read the guidelines on heart failure published last year by European Society of Cardiology and by American Heart Association both advised the use, the correction of iron deficiency in order to improve quality of life of patients. Uh, this is the study that uh, uh, one of the studies that uh, uh, indicated this, uh, uh, led to this recommendation uh, uh, in the, that is 2A in the uh, European guidelines, and this was based on uh, uh, functional capacity. Clear difference, and uh, it can well be accepted that improving not only anemia, but also the iron availability of uh, skeletal muscle cells is good for the patients. What is ongoing now, and has started enrollment all over Europe, and I think also in the North America, is FERHF2, that is a multicenter international, one-to-one, -one, double blind, placebo controlled, with endpoint with ferric carboximal toes, uh, in patient with uh, ferritin below 100, that is iron deficiency, or uh, uh, between 100 and 300, but saturation below 20%, that is relative iron deficiency, these kind of patients are treated, and the primary endpoint is uh, rehospitalization or cardiovascular death. As you see, it will not start very much, and uh, uh, it will not last very much, and it will be very interesting also linking functional capacity with uh, uh, multi-morbidity uh, events. Uh, there are several trials ongoing with different forms of oral iron ongoing. This again on quality of life that is finally uh, in, in, in interest. Uh, we have heard from uh, 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 Dr. Wassman about Rivaroxaban. Well, there is a very big trial also in heart failure. 2.5, twice a day, same uh, uh, utilization as in Atlas in subjects with heart failure uh, and, corona, and uh, an history of coronary artery disease. Uh, this is uh, stimulating and interesting. Primary endpoint, death, myocardial infarction, and stroke even if uh, the major impact cannot be expected to be on reduction of embolic events. Uh, started uh, f uh, four years ago, I don't know exactly uh, when uh, it will be finished, and this is uh, uh, my last uh, slide with experimental design. Uh, I have shown you approaches very different, speculative, not yet based on mechanism that we know very well, right? like uh, neurohumoral modulation. Uh, what will be the right way, the right uh, road to have new treatments in heart failure, I don't know. Uh, this uh, is uh, an old physiology or classic physiology, let's say, approach. is a very interesting trial. Uh, Sucubutril valsartan, same, uh, exper same uh, experimental model uh, uh, as uh, in the Paragon uh, uh, trial, and, uh, uh, but is in, in subject with ejection fraction above 45%. It will take, uh, it is a, 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 a four years, uh, five year study. It will, last, it will last quite a long time, but will provide interesting data. So I've finished different approaches. I don't know what it will be really exciting in the future, but it is important to have new possibilities and to find new direction. Thank you very much. Sven, I'm looking to you because I wait to you. I don't have the program with me, so you have to provide us with instructions. <laughs> <laughs>